my extreme minimalism challenge is over but I did want to document and show you guys everything that I owned during it. The rest of my belongings were in storage during this period of time, so that's why I use own with quotation marks. Initially, I started out with a lot more items. I think that I had somewhere around like 175 and like 164 when I was making the initial list. But as the month went on, I kind of started eliminating things that I didn't need. And so I ended up with a number even smaller than that. If you're confused about the Extreme Minimalism Challenge, I basically have weekly vlogs about the entire thing if you want to watch that. I have it linked down below. There's a playlist for that. The Sparknote version of it is that I wanted to live with Extreme Minimalism for one month to see how it impacted me as a human being, how it changed my relationship relationship with physical items and belongings and just to you know see what what would happen and without any further ado let's just take a look at everything I owned last month this is where all of my clothing is housed and it is a very tight fit on top there is my one jacket that is my olive green bomber jacket and then this first drawer here this has one of my two sweatshirts my only proper bra I have six pairs of socks, but I can't find where my sixth one is. Um, I have a sports bra that I use for sleeping in, and I have seven pairs of underwear. In the second drawer, this is where all of my pants and my shirts are housed, and there is Gertrude. I have two pairs of jeans. I have my second sweatshirt. I have two camisoles. I have three white v-necks. I have a striped v-neck, and I have a black graphic shirt. My clothing accounts for 27 items. These are all my clothing related items and accessories. I have one crossbody bag. I have my wallet, which also has my keys and stuff attached to it, but I'm counting that as one unit. I have a pair of shoes. These are the Allbird Wool Runners. I have one pair of sunglasses. I have a beanie and I have a belt. So this accounts for six items of my stuff. For bath linens, I have one big bath towel, I have a regular size towel that I use for my hair, I have a face towel, and up here is a terry cloth headband, so that's four items. This stuff is everything that lives in the bathtub where, you know, I take my showers and take my baths and everything. These first things here are a pair of exfoliating gloves. Um, I have my Merker long-handled razor. I have this Lush soap that's in the shape of a pumpkin. I use this as a shaving soap. I have a uh, conditioner. This is the Redken All Soft. For my shower gel, I have Woosh Shower Jelly. And for my shampoo, I have this Lush shampoo bar. I'm counting this pair as one singular unit, meaning that I have six items here. Here's the rest of my toiletries and hygiene supplies. I have a deodorant. I have this leave-in hair conditioner sample from Lush. I have my Diva Cup toothpaste and a toothbrush. That accounts for five more items. I did allot myself quite a few skincare items for this challenge and that's because skincare is my favorite form of self-care and so there's a lot and I have no regrets. This first item here is a five pack of sheet masks. I went through two or three other sheet masks during the course of this. I have my Glossier Megarine's Galaxy mask. I have my day cream, my night cream eye cream, exfoliator, eye serum, two different serums, my cleanser, my face mist, my pre-cleanse, and then my acne medication is over there. So overall, I have 17 skincare items and I do not regret a single one of them. Here are all of my makeup items. I have a tinted moisturizer, a blush, loose powder, cream eyeshadow, potted concealer, bronzer, eyeliner, um, mascara, Tinted lip balm, and I have two of these kind of multi-purpose solves. In hindsight, I didn't need both of them, but I was worried that I was going to run out of this, so I, you know, used this one as a backup. Makeup items account for 11 of my things. These are all of my makeup accessories. I have my makeup bag, I have a flat kabuki brush, a powder brush, a blender brush, um, kind of like a general shading brush, and a sponge and I'm really sorry about the state of these. I haven't had time to wash them. I just kind of want to get this out of the way right now. I also have a pair of tweezers and um, some nail clippers. These live in a different bag but I decided to put them in here because they're in the same kind of general category. Makeup tools and makeup accessories account for eight items. I just now found my blotting sheet so technically makeup accessories and makeup tools accounts for nine since I'm lumping them in with those. This is all my laundry junk. I have my laundry basket, bleach, and I have some detergent over there. Laundry, three items. 
This is all my flatware and like kitchen item stuff. Uh, since I live in a shared space, I just use the pots and pans that were already here. So I have one shallow bowl that I use as a plate, knife, spoon, fork, tea glass, and then I have a um, glass drinking container. So all of my kitchen stuff amounts to six whole items. These are my entertainment items. I have three books. This is the only one that I've actually touched, so yeah. Three things. Here are all of my office supplies. I have a single notebook, a pen, a pencil, pencil lead, scissors, and an empty pencil case holder, which is where I house this stuff. My office supplies account for six items. So these are all of Gertrude's items. Um, her kennel, and she has a blanket in her kennel. And up top we have some nail trimmers, a Gertrude, her bowl, a Kong, a very large tennis ball, her food, her harness, her leash, her um, rain jacket, poop bag holder, uh, tug rope, extra poop bags. So overall Gertrude's items account for 13 things and I guess there she is. She wants all of her stuff, so let's give it to her. Here's all my bedding stuff. I have a comforter, I have two large white pillows, and I have this pillow up here. So counting the comforter, the pillows, and all of the pillow covers, I have seven items. Lastly, we have my tech items. There would honestly be a lot less here if my laptop wasn't old and busted AF. So I have my old, like, late 2011 13-inch MacBook Pro. And to go with it, we have a mouse because my trackpad doesn't work and my charger because it doesn't have a battery and because only one of the USB ports is functional, we have a USB hub that I can plug in so when I have to use my mouse and the external hard drive, I can do that. Um, so I have the external hard drive, which is one terabyte. I have the power cord to that that hooks it up to the computer, the power cord that hooks it up to the wall. I have some earphones. I have some, um, my charging block for my phone and the charging cords that goes with that, and that also works with my camera. Um, I have my tripod for my camera. I have my camera kind of stand in it's supposed to note, and I also have the um, camera memory card. All in all, my tech stuff accounts for 14 items. I do have one last item, and that is my car, which brings the total up to 139 things. That's not a lot. To some people, it may still be a lot, because I know some extreme minimalists that are like really super extreme with their stuff, but as someone that really only started their minimalism journey at the very beginning of 2016 and only really in earnest during the later months, that was really extreme for me. But yep, yeah, that was everything that I had, so I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.